Hello beautiful Libra and welcome to your general tarot guidance and me Julie Paul. Hello, welcome, thank you for being here. Alright guys, let's see what we have for you. I'm going to pull uh, from the wisdom of the oracle a few main themes for you. This is a timeless reading, okay? So whenever you find it is right at that time. We've got co-create, observer and thinker. Okay, I want to take that as well. Bottom of the deck, unfinished symphony. Okay, so something is wanting to be finished off, okay? Libra, you are coming towards your birthday season. And so this is a time, the few weeks before your birthday season, depending when you find this, that you are contemplating what you need to let go of, what needs to be finished off so that you can start the new year, your new birthday, to a fresher, mm, less restricted, mm, more open, more free way of being. So I'm just listening to their words, which is why I was hesitating there. Okay, so something wants to be finished off in order for you to move forward. And we have the co-create card. So you are in this creating flow. You are in the creative energy with the universe where you're co-creating. The cheetah there symbolizes fast movement forward and going all the way right to the finish line, being able to finish something off. And the owl sitting on that uh, wire there is your wisdom the wisdom that you can access that you can tap into and the egg symbolizes the new life that wants to crack open whatever new life that is for you so we're closing something off and then we're opening something up that is new now you're being asked to observe step back have a good look does your life work for you does it work well is it um, in all the different areas or it works well in one area but it's a bit in another area so have a look have a clear look at everything observe your behavior and reactions other people's behaviors and reactions feel into does my life feel good for me or does it feel oppressive feel into it okay so you are observing and then the last uh, card coming out from this theme for the month is the thinker all right number 44 you're thinking 40, fours are about foundations and 44 is a master number so is my foundation within myself within my being is it solid is it secure i'm thinking through what can I do to shore up, strengthen up my foundations in my world, all right? Whether that be in your work world, your home, your relationships. But there's a lot of thinking and contemplating. Let's bring the camera down. So, you know, we can see here something wants to be finished so that you can create number 40. So again, we're with the fours here, all right? And 49 comes to a 13, which is also a four. And then we have 44. Everything here is about building a solid foundation going forward. So what is it that needs to be finished off? Let's add in the tarot. And Libra, this is good for sun, moon, rising, Venus and cross-watching. It is timeless, all right? So whenever you find it, if it resonates, great. If it doesn't resonate, come back to it in a week or two. See if it resonates then. All right. Okay. So we've got the Ten of Coins coming out. Palace of Swords. Knight of Coins. And the Two of Swords underneath the Thinker. That's and that's interesting because I always call the Two of Swords the I don't know card. And it's under the Thinker. So what is it we don't know? Because a decision needs to be made here, but we haven't quite got enough information. So we're thinking it through. But let's start here with this unfinished symphony with the Ten of Coins. The Ten of Coins is all about your foundations, which we've established. This is about your foundation being financially secure but not just monetarily but in terms of are my relationship secure do I feel secure in myself because the ten of coins is is more than the money it's a wonderful positive card of money and abundance and I may have all the abundance there but I may be lacking in other areas all right perhaps I've been so busy making money that I've not noticed that my health is suffering or my relationships are suffering or perhaps 
because it's unfinished symphony you've got a plan here where you want to get to a certain level of financial security and then you're safe and they want to kind of say let's finish that let's finish that because as long as we put that in the future that's where it stays it's saying where am i right now right now i'm in a strong position but there's something here that needs to finish off to enable me to move forward in a stronger, better way. The Palace of Swords is also a thinker card. It's all about a place where you can kind of rise above the mist, the fog, and see and think clearly so that you can create and co-create with the universe, with your higher self, with your inner self, what it is you want for the future. So you're observing, where am I going? That's what the Knight of Coins is all about. He's slow and steady, but he's moving towards a solid goal that is going to bring him the rewards that he wants. And he's prepared to put the work in and he's prepared to take his time and not rush it because when it comes in, it's lasting. And as we said there, the thinker card with the two of swords, I'm really thinking things through so that I can get to a point where I can make a clear decision. And I'm not quite there yet. I need more information. So by observing, by stepping back, by looking at what needs to finish off, then the clarity is starting to come forward. And then I can start to make those decisions to build a life and a world for myself that is solid. Yeah. OK, anything else you want to say on that? No, they're saying go to the next deck. OK, that's the Tarot of Dreams we just pulled. This is the legacy of the Divine Tarot. OK, tell me more for my Librans, please. Thank you so much. OK, Five of Cups. There's been disappointment. Mm, no, they're saying correct it. OK, I don't normally read reversals, but sometimes they'll say to me, leave it as it is. And they're saying, no, no, turn it round. Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups, yeah, now it makes sense. And the Chariot. All right, this is lovely. This is lovely. So, financially, something has bothered you, bugged you, got to you. This Five of Cups is a card of disappointment. Perhaps you're saying to yourself, you know, I thought I'd be further along than I am by now. I thought I'd be more financially secure. Um, perhaps this was a job that promised you promotions and pay rises and bonuses that never happened. And perhaps this has happened before with the Unfinished Symphony. Yeah. So this needs to be let go of. The Five of Cups is predominantly a card of regrets and regrets are absolutely wasted energy. There is no point regretting. We can take the learning from it and then we let it go. But we don't want to be holding on to regrets because they turn bitter and they impact us. And we don't want to do that. So we're going to let it go. Whatever this disappointment was that is related to money, security, foundations there, we need to let it go, let it end. The wheel is the turning of the karmic cycle to say that chapter is now closed. It's finished, it's done, it's dusted. We are moving into something new. We can see here that we are leaving the past behind. I love to see the eight of cups, which is the bye-bye, you know, well, I'm done with that, that's finished. Um, that is confirmed. The wheel is turning into a new energy now. We need to leave behind anything that was sad or disappointing or regrets. We're going to let them go. We want to move forward into something new. The chariot is a victory card. So we're thinking through clearly, what do we need to do? What do I want to create for myself going forward? What needs to finish off? Let's observe. Let's look at it. Let's take a step back and see I'm ready to let that go now. Because that's the decision that you want to make. That you get to a point where you say that regret the unfinished symphony the unfinished business that any hangovers from the past if i'm carrying with me any baggage from the past i'm making the decision to let it go i just need to think through clearly and observe what that might be then i go ah oh, aha i'm having an aha moment yeah i'm never really quite forgiven that person or that situation or whatever it is for you libra this is a general reading not a personal reading if you want one of those the link is below to book in with me so 
We are moving forward. We're coming to decisions and we are letting go of the past. It's a very normal kind of energy that we tend to see as we approach birthday season for you Libra suns that we're finishing things off but for you Libra risings really have a good look at this okay my lovely people all right let's find out some more tell me more for Libra please thank you so much okay page of pentacles death victory six of wands six of swords uh two of cups and the ten of pentacles okay all right this is so lovely libra this is so lovely we've got such massive confirmation of what they've already said this is the universe saying i meant what i said okay that we let go we let go so that we can open up to new opportunities if you are stuck in a job that you're waiting for that pay rise that's never going to come waiting 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 for this opportunity the page of coins is an opportunity for new money or a pay rise or um, something new coming in new opportunities coming your way the death card is saying it's time to let that go if it hasn't happened yet, it's not going to happen. And they're confirming that with the Six of Swords, which is the moving on card. We've got the Eight of Cups, the moving on card, the Six of Swords moving on card, the Death card, the Wheel of Fortune. There is something here that needs to be let go of so that you can move into a new beginning. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. That's what you're moving towards. So this Ten of Pentacles didn't really happen been waiting, 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 waiting. So we let it go and then we open up to a new Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Wands is a success card, a victory card. The Chariot is a victory card. This Six of Wands is being seen, being recognised, being noticed, being wanted. Um, people looking up to you saying you've done an amazing job. We want you. We've got an amazing opportunity for you that you're going to love. All right, that two of cups. I want to move into something that I'm going to love. Right now, for some of you, this is a relationship that you're leaving behind. Okay, that unfinished symphony could be that we break up, we get back together, we break up, we get back together, or you know, we have that conversation and we need to talk. Yeah, this is a problem, let's fix it, and then it's still there, and it's still there, and it's still there. But you don't want to go because, oh, well, I'm secure, I'm stable, you know, I can't risk it. But I'm continually in this disappointment and regret. So finally we go, this is finished. I'm, I'm opening up to new opportunities here. I'm leaving this behind. The Six of Swords is a card of the grass is greener on the other side. You know, there are times when we just need to put that bit of effort in and a bit of patience in and it'll come right. But there are times we need to just go, it's time to go. No more. All right. And this is one of those times. So whether this is a job, a relationship, a behavior, a circumstance, whatever it is for you, just apply it to your own circumstances. If it resonates for you, this is a closing out, massive closing out of that old stuff so that we can move into something new, a new Ten of Pentacles, a new level of abundance, a new level of success. So listen to that inner voice with that two of cups. Listen to what your heart is saying and saying, it's time for me to move towards a greater self-love, greater security and abundance, greater success. I will be victorious. I am already victorious because I'm closing this out. I've simply got to observe, think it through, make a decision and then take action. This is an action time for you. So, big stuff. Let's finish off with an angel card. Final message for my Librans, please. Final message for my Librans. Higher thought. See, it's another similar message. The higher thought. Co-create is a higher vibration. I'm in an energy of creating, which is high vibration. Observing and thinking. This is you detaching from the situation so that you can see clearly. So you are in this higher thought, right? This is our higher mind, our higher self saying, follow the path towards the light. You are moving towards the light. You are moving away from what has been repeated disappointment and mm, repeated cycles 
they're closing out. It's time. This is fated. This is destined. This is the time. All right, Libra, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a like, a share, all that lovely good stuff. And I'll be back in a couple of weeks. All right, my lovelies, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>